Okay. Hey, I'm Larry, and this is uh, Annie, and we're going to show you how to do probably one of the most important exercises uh, out there. So it's called disengaging, and uh, you know if you're having problems like uh, getting your horse to lead, uh, maybe your horse disrespecting you. Uh, uh, you need to get softness in your horse's body and plus this exercise disengaging is going to get your horse prepared for when you get in the saddle because there's going to be uh, many many times that you're going to need to disengage your horse in the saddle so uh, right now it's just like walking up here uh, Annie didn't want to leave and the only way I could get her to come forward of course you know how many times have you had to play tug of war with your horse many many times i'm sure and the horse usually wins because what do we do we get frustrated we get upset so when uh we were coming up so then what i done is i just reached back here i looked back here and asked annie to disengage and at first she didn't want to and then i used the pressure i'm going to show you how to do here in a minute and she disengaged and walked right on up here for me so there's a time that a horse would just lock his body up, is what happens, and and we just can't move them. It's like tying your halter or your lead rope to a truck and trying to move the truck yourself. It's just not going to happen. So uh, disengaging. Now, what what we want to do first to teach our horse this exercise is uh, we want to do it at a standstill and. Uh, uh, so what we do is we call this area right here the safety zone and meaning that if we step across here there's some horses that may try to kick at this lead rope or if, or you can do this with a training stick but they may try to kick at it and if they do they can reach you in this space here now the the other thing is is that on disengaging the way that we get the softness in here is by a loose rein. So, you know, we can we can get in here and we can pull our horse around, but that's not the deal here. The deal here is to get the horse to move from our body language, from our our pressure. So, in our in our energy. So, I'm going to stand right here. I'm going to take my left hand. I'm going to raise it up. Uh, there'll be a lot of times that you're going to need this because sometimes your horse may want to move forward and when he does then I'm going to take this take my left hand and this lead rope and I'm going to push it to the back of the horse towards his hindquarters. You can see how my arm is going straight to the hindquarters so that stops that forward movement. Now now what I'm fixing to do is I'm fixing to put my left hand up here and I'm going to focus just on the hindquarters. I don't care what the neck does. I don't care what the head does. I'm going to leave a little slack in here. If it gets tight, it's because the horse is making it tight, but I'm going to keep her head up here. Now this right hand, I've got my lead rope and, and sometimes we get too much and we just kind of flop it around. Or we, or I'll see people do this, and that's just not enough lead rope. The way to measure it is just let the tip of your lead rope touch the ground and measure it from the top of your waistline here, and then grab it right here, and that'll be perfect for you, however tall or short that you are. Now, I'm going to focus on this area because the whole purpose of this, and I'm going to change my body language, is that the energy, the pressure from my body and my body language is telling her to yield, to yield the hindquarters away from me instead of pushing into me. So I'm going to, first I'm going to ask. Okay, great. And I get a yield. And you see how she pivoted almost around this front end. We had a little too much movement, but it's still pretty good. Now, let's say that she doesn't move. Now, I'm going to apply some energy. I'm not tapping her with it. I'm just kind of letting it hit the ground. There. 
Okay, now some of you, your horse the first time is going to yield, but they're not going to cross the leg. Now when they, when they, when I'm looking for her to cross this left hind leg uh, over the right hind leg, and when she does that, that's also telling me that I'm, she's starting to trust me. And any time that we're starting to work with a new horse or a horse that you've had for a while, more than likely you don't have the trust that you think you have, excuse me, that you think you have. So it's really important to, to focus on on, on that trust and when we know we're getting trust is when she crosses that leg. Now some of your horses are going to do this. They're going to yield but they're not crossing that leg. And the reason they're not crossing it is because if they cross it then that puts them in a vulnerable position. You know they, they, they won't have that quick start to get away in case uh, they feel danger or something like that. So Let's go back. I'm changing if I stay here. This is a neutral position. It's not really telling her anything. Uh, so I'm gonna come here. You can see she's not really paying attention to me. So I'm gonna add a little pressure. Now, you see how she's coming forward. So I need to take some slack out of my left lead rope and push towards the hind quarters. And when she crosses the leg, I'm going to yield. Now you notice that she was kind of pushing on me a little bit. You know, right then I, I really wasn't worried about it. I just kind of, I'm going to ignore it. But if it gets to where she's applying more pressure, then I can use this arm here to bump her. Don't hit her in the eye or anything. Just just bump your horse right here on the on the jaw. Okay, let's see what we can do this time. Always ask first. Now, right there. She didn't go all the way, but she went half the way, so I'm going to reward her. Guys, when you're, when you're working with your horses and you're teaching them something for the first time, you always want to f find just the slightest try so that you can reward your horse as quick as possible. That's what this pressure release of pressure is about. We apply pressure. Once they do what we want them, ask them to do, then we release the pressure. And that's what, that's how they learn, is by that release of pressure. It'll take it four or five, take them four or five times, and then finally they'll pick it up. That, oh, this is what they're wanting me to do. Okay, uh, disengaging once you get it down. This is a great exercise, and you can see how she's starting to keep her head up now. And, uh... Now she wants to get on the camera. She wants to be videoed. Yeah, you're doing good, Annie. You're doing good. And folks, you're not hurting your horse. You're not doing anything mean. Horses, this is how they communicate. So th th this is what your horse wants. Believe me, this is what they want because we're talking about space here. And, uh, and I guarantee you most of you out there in the pecking order with your horse, you're number two and you think you're number one, but you're not. If your horse is doing all these things, pushing on you and stuff like that, then that's cause they think they're number one. So these exercises like this space deal here, that's letting the horse know I'm communicating with my horse, not human to horse, but horse to horse. So this horse understands that this means I'm number one because I was able to move her feet out of my space. Okay, all right. Great exercise. This is one of our top tools that we like to use for building trust and uh, building a relationship and becoming their leader. Okay, thank you, God bless you, and God bless your horse.